Hello, this is Andy Kelly from CVG, and I'm here with Ben Griffin, who reviewed Ridge Racer Unbounded. Ridge Racer! <laughs> yeah, as Kaz Harai calls it whenever he says it. Um, this does not look like Ridge Racer in the traditional sense. How does it differ from the, the previous games in the series? Uh, well, this is Ridge Racer by Bugbear, uh, who previously made Flat Out, kind of a middling, middling racer. Um, it's not trying to be Ridge Racer, it's trying to be a load of different other games. Um, for instance, you've got kind of split second environmental uh, triggers, like you can trigger a fuel truck to explode, uh, you can trigger a brick wall to come down on someone. Um, it's trying to be burnout in the way you can come smash into the other races and take them out of the race, or as they say in Ridge Racer now, fragged. Um, yeah, so it's trying to be a lot of different other games. It's not trying to be Ridge Racer. And um, it, it looks here like it's not just a straightforward race. I mean, what kind of uh, modes are there? Uh, there are a lot of modes, actually. Um, quite good in that sense. There's your you normal race, uh, as you see here on the screen, uh, 12, 12 races. Uh, there are domination events, a bit like Burnout, where you can smash into other cars, take them out of the race. Um, there are checkpoint events. Uh, as you race through a checkpoint, you've got like a limited time uh, to race between checkpoints. Uh, and there are drift events, which are a bit like you know, traditional ridge racer events where you drift from side to side. And um, how does it feel to, I mean, what, how, what, what, what kind of game does the handling compare to? I mean, it looks fairly uh, sort of arcadey and simplistic. Uh, what other games does it feel like in terms of the actual driving mechanics? Uh, well, it, ridge racer has always been like the art arcade kind of racer. It's always really... Uh, you know, drifting, you drift at 90 degree angles and you veer from side to side. It's just really, it's, it's kind of solid handling, but you can, you can sort of f get a feel for it from these videos. Um, yeah, the, the handling's very arcadey. Is there much, um, I mean, like Ridge Racer always had a, a good sort of separation of different vehicle types, had really distinct handling. Um, is, is there, a, I mean, the cars aren't licensed, are they? No. They're all, I mean, do they, is there a good sort of, do all the cars feel different? Um, not the only difference is sometimes you'll drift and you'll totally spin out of control. Uh, those are the bad cars, and with the good cars you can drift and you won't spin out of control. Apart from that, they're all muscle cars and they're all speedy. Uh, yeah, they're all basically the same. Not not great. Um, and is it right that there's a track editor in this as well? There is a track editor. There's uh, there's two tiers. There's a basic track editor, uh, and there's a more advanced track editor. Uh, you can use you kind of lay down tiles. Um, a bit like, I don't know, scale electrics. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, how did you know that was coming up, Andy? <laughs> uh, you've got like underpasses and uh, like, it's, it's all urban really, all urban roads, all streets. Is it is it fairly easy to use? I mean, it looks very, quite simple here. It's just grid based. Very easy. Um, it's not like Modern Nation where you can put down anything, any kind of track. It's, it's very, uh, yeah, it's kind of limited. Um, there are cool things you can play around with, like you can, litter it with like dustbin bags and explode in uh, barrels and ramps um, so that is it's all right it's, it's nowhere near as good as modern nation so who should play this i mean you've got ridge racer fans it doesn't seem like it's a continuation of that series especially um what kind of what kind of gamer will appreciate this what kind of man will play this game yeah. um i don't i wouldn't really recommend it to anyone really because everything it's Harsh, really. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ridge Racer fans, but I mean, this is this is uh, chasing the taillights of other races. As I said in my review, it's other races have done the this kind of things before. I mean, shortcuts that's been done, uh, car combat in burnout that's been done, split second environmental weaponry that's been done, and better as well. Because in split second you could take down an airplane. Yeah. And in this, you can take down a phone booth. So is it safe to say that it doesn't do, it does a lot of things that other games have done, but not as well. And it doesn't have any sort of standout gimmick of its own. Exactly. I'm not even going to add to that, Andy, because you've just summed up. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, it doesn't, they should have stuck to what Ridge Racer does, because at least it's original, just drifting and arcade style handling. But here it's just trying to ape another few dozen Yeah, it seems like they've tried work. to add a lot of modern flashy elements in, but Ridge Racer really is all about the sort of purity of the arcade driving exactly. experience, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's Ridge Racer Unbounded then. Ridge Racer Unbounded, bound it up and send it away somehow. <laughs> Not very good then. No, like my puns.